Hi, I'm Jason Perkins. I'm an attorney that represents injured workers in Georgia workers' compensation claims. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about temporary total disability benefits in Georgia and how long you can receive those benefits and when they'll stop. If you haven't already, you should take a look at my video on temporary total disability benefit basics in Georgia. That'll give you a basic overview of temporary total disability benefits, when you should start receiving them, and how much they will be per week. The basic idea of temporary total disability benefits, which are wage loss benefits, is that you should receive them if your doctor has you out of work because of your injury or has you on restrictions that prevent you from going back to work. There's also a companion benefit, temporary partial disability benefits, that you receive if you're back at work but making less money because of your injury. There are limits in Georgia on how long you can receive these benefits. Generally, you receive temporary total disability benefits while you're out of work, but you can only receive them for up to 400 weeks from your date of injury. At that point, your benefits would stop, even if you were still out of work because of your injury. Temporary partial disability benefits have a limit as well. You can only receive those for 350 weeks from your date of injury. Now, there is an exception to the temporary total disability benefits limits. If you have a severe injury, you may qualify for a catastrophic designation. But that's a topic to discuss another day. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the reason that your temporary total disability benefits may stop in Georgia. The most common reason these benefits stop is because you go back to work. You receive these benefits because you were out of work as a result of your injury and you're losing money. If you go back to work and you're earning money, you don't receive temporary total disability benefits anymore. Now, if you're back but making less money as a result of your injury, you may receive the temporary partial disability benefits I mentioned to you earlier. Also, even if you don't go back to work, but your employer offers you a light duty job that your doctor says is suitable, your employer may still be able to stop your benefits. Another reason that temporary total disability benefits get stopped is that your doctor says you can go back to work at full duty without restrictions. Um, if your authorized treating physician, physician, that's your main workers' compensation doctor, says that you're all better, he or she may give you a full duty release. The insurance company, if the doctor releases you without restrictions, can file some paperwork that will allow them to stop your benefits with very short notice. Now, if this happens to you, there should be a Form WC2 filed. In fact, one should be filed any time your temporary total disability benefits are stopped. If you receive a Form WC-2 suspending your benefits and you don't think you fully recovered from your injury, you should definitely talk to an attorney. Often, an attorney like me can review your case and can find a reason that your benefits may be able to be restarted. Look for future videos from me about temporary total disability benefits and other workers' compensation benefits. You can also visit our website, www.perkinslawtalk.com. We have a blog there where you can find helpful information about all sorts of workers' compensation benefits in Georgia. Also, if you've got questions, one of the best things to do is to call me for a free consultation, 770-214-8885, or there's a form on our website, the Need Help form, that you can complete, and we'll set up a consultation with you. Thanks for your time today.